Well, hello, I'm Kirsty. Do you suffer from poor sleep? <clears throat> are you in perimenopause, menopause or beyond? And because there are many, many factors that play a part in how well we sleep or not. Um, and it could be that if you're in perimenopause, menopause or beyond, then that is the hormonal changes are part of the problem. And if you want to learn how to get better sleep, then this live is for you. Stick around to the end and I'll be sharing with you how you can get some tips to get a better night's sleep. I'm Kirsty Broder. I'm a retired military dentist um, turned stay at home mum and I work to support women to improve their general health and their dental health during menopause and beyond. So if you're watching live, it's great to see you. Thank you very much for watching and just pop the word live down in the comments below. If you're watching on replay again, thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Drop the word replay in the comments below. I will circle back round and connect with you as well. Um, I do appreciate your time. Now, it's not uncommon for everyone at some point during their life to experience some episodes of poor sleep. Okay, it happens to us all. But sadly for women during the peri perimenopause, menopause and beyond, sleep can become a really significant issue. And sadly, it can last for some time afterwards as well. So I did a little bit of research and um, I looked into what, what does consist a good night's sleep. And it's actually recommended for women to have at least seven hours, <laughs> seven hours of uninterrupted sleep per night. Now that's quite a lot of sleep really for, for many people. And I've read the statistics that say between 40 to 60% of women actually suffer sleep problems during menopause and beyond. That's quite a high proportion of women as well. So I'm just curious, how many hours of sleep do you get a night? Um, drop your answers down below in the comments. Um, I'd, love to, I'd love to see uh, how many hours you get. Um, because I canvassed opinion in one of the groups that I'm in. And most women actually stated that they get between four to five hours of sleep a night. Not bad, maybe. Um, still too little. But lots of the women were saying they get between like two and three hours a night, which is just so few hours of sleep. I, I don't know how people function. I really don't. And the impact of having such poor or lack of sleep can be really huge. I mean, you'll know for yourself when you're, you've not had enough sleep, you just, you're just tired, you have difficulty concentrating, we're definitely more prone to irritability, <laughs> getting grumpy and upset and angry at maybe, you know, smaller things. Um, it impacts our memory. You can't concentrate. You can't remember things as easily. You have lower energy and you can really feel lethargic as well, which makes you really reluctant to do stuff. And all of these things can have a really negative consequence both in the home with our families and our loved ones and at work as well. So the impact to work can be quite significant too. Um, so I'm interested to know if you suffer from too little sleep, please share how you feel during the day below. You know, is it that you have, you're struggling with concentration or memory? Are you feeling lethargic? Do you not have the energy? Perhaps you're more irritable. Let me know in the comments below. So why does this happen during menopause? Well, not only is this a, a, huge, a time in our lives of huge hormonal fluctuation, you know, we've got the reduction of estrogen specifically, but it's also a time of massive physical change and psychological change as well. It's a huge impact here and, you know, on our bodies. And quite a few of the common problems with getting a good night's sleep are due to the hormonal changes, which can result in things like hot flashes, physical changes as well, and also psychological changes. You know, we, depression leads to poor sleep. Being anxious leads to poor sleep. We can get restless legs, which many, many women, women suffer from. <laughs> we all need to nip to the toilet in the middle of the night, probably more often than we ever did before. And also some people suffer from sleep apnea. So that's when you're not getting enough oxygen into the blood. Um, it's kind of a form of snoring, really. So there's lots of common problems that can affect our sleep during this time of our life. 
So I hope that's been helpful to you to understand a little bit more into why if you are struggling with sleep, it could be due to your hormones and it could be something to do with um, the menopause, perimenopause or beyond. And if you suffer from poor sleep and you would like um, some tips on how to get a better night's sleep, type the word sleep down in the comments below and I'll share with you 10 tips to help you to drift off to a carefree slumber. <laughs> well, it's 10 tips that, gonna that you can implement if you want to, to help you to get a better night's sleep so that you feel more rested and that you feel more able to face the next day. So you can just put the word sleep down below. If you want to learn a little bit more about menopause, your mouth and more in particular, um, you can head over to my private Facebook community. It's called menopause, your mouth and more. Um, and I'll put the link down below and you can simply click that link to join and it would be lovely to see you all there. Bye for now.